Hi dear students, welcome back to our YouTube channel Mechanical Engineering Exams Made Simple. Friends, in this video let us see tricky questions from Automated Service Signal Maintenance and Electrical System that is your third item in the syllabus for your IMEI Automated Engineering second paper. Hard shifting into gear may be caused by, so there are more than one reason for this particular phenomenon, hard shifting into gear. The reasons could be gear shift linkage out of adjustment, gear shift linkage needs lubrication, clutch may not be disengaging or there may be excessive clutch free play, uh, pedal free play and uh, there may be uh, your shifter fork may be bent or sometimes sliding gears or synchronizer tight on. Finally, other reasons also could be there, gear teeth battered shaft lines, synchronizing into damage or springs improperly installed after overhaul or shifter tube binding in steering column or end of transmission input shaft binding in crankshaft pilot bushing. So, all of these are covered. So, the answer is D. The transmission may stick in gear because. So, what is the reason for transmission sticking in gear? So, there are seven reasons friends actually. There may be some other reasons also, but main are seven reasons. What are these reasons? So, gear shift linkage out of adjustment are disconnected or gear shift linkage needs lubrication the same as earlier problem, clutch not disengaging same as this thing and some more other reasons are different balls lock, lockouts stuck if they are stuck. Now, synchronizing unit is stuck, incorrect or insufficient lubricant in transmission, internal shifter components damaged. So, all these could lead to the transmission may stick in gear. So, once again all of them is the correct answer. Noise from the transmission when it is in neutral could be caused by our vehicle could be in neutral first gear, second gear, third gear or fourth gear. So, why the what is the reason for the noise coming in the transmission when our vehicle is in neutral gear? So, what is that? Let us see. So, actually friends noise from the transmission when it is in neutral could be caused by various reasons. Gear may be worn or tooth broken or chipped. If the load is excessive, gear tooth may break. Bearings worn or dry, this is main common reason for noise. Bearings out of, uh, let us say, bearings are worn out or damaged. Now, third one is input shaft bearing defective, pilot bushing worn or losing crankshaft, transmission misaligned with engine, counter shaft worn or bent or thrust plate or washers damaged. So, all this could lead to the noise from the transmission when it is in neutral. So, once again the answer is all of the above. Friends, I have observed from your previous examinations that when all of them are correct answers, so please choose that, but choose with caution and care. The transmission may slip out of gear. So, this is uh, about the slipping out of gear because of what are the reasons? Is it due to the gear shift leakage is out of linkage out of adjustment or the clutch housing is misaligned? the lockout springs are weak or all of the above. Let us see this, the reason for the transmission slipping out of gear. Once again, gear linkage out of adjustment, on floor shift, shift boot stiff or shift lever binding or weak lockout springs, they are all connected elements, mechanical elements, right, yes or no? Any of the uh, problem in any of the uh, them could lead to slippage, right. The bearings are gear, gears worn. So, this is normally gears are subjected to wear, wear and tear during out of service, lot of service uh, for few days or maybe months or hour, hour sometimes or even days also right, especially months after. You, so, you have to actually go for maintenance daily, uh, some, uh, some certain things you have to check daily for your vehicle, certain things you have to maintenance activities you have to take up weekly, monthly basis, something like that, quarterly basis. Uh, half yearly basis and yearly basis. So, so that your vehicle will not give trouble in the service. So, now the bearings or gears worn, end play of shaft or gears excessive, synchronizer worn or defective, transmission loose on clutch housing or misaligned, clutch housing misaligned, pilot bushing in crankshaft loose or broken, input shaft retainer loose or broken, broken engine mount. So, there are all the reasons for your the transmission may slip out of gear. So, once again let us mark D as the answer. Last question for this video friends, noise from the transmission when it is in gear could be caused by. So, noise, what is the reason for noise when it is in gear, our vehicle is in gear. So, there are six reasons basically, there may be some other also related to mechanical things. Number one, gears worn on tooth broken or chipped once again, 
bearings worn or dry, input shaft bearing defective, pilot bushing worn or loose in crankshaft, transmission misaligned with engine, counter shaft worn or bent or thrust plate or washers damaged. So, all of them are covered in this. So, once again all of them is the correct answer. Okay friends, in this video we have seen some tricky questions from uh, engine servicing and maintenance especially automobile servicing and maintenance and automobile electrical systems also. In the next video we will see some more questions from this particular topic. You can expect from friends in for every from every topic you can expect minimum 20 questions. There are about 8 topics and out of which 4 are theory main basically and 4 are problematic like your thermal engineering automotive power plants, machine design, then your engineering mechanics, strength of materials, fluid mechanics, then your automobile servicing and maintenance. So, from these you can expect some good problems out of this uh, and some of the topics are covered from your the canonics of machinery, theory of machines also. So, please go through them. So, other topics like automobile servicing and maintenance, your motor transport organization, then your special purpose vehicles, then your entrepreneurial development etc. So, from this you can expect theory questions. So, you can expect core mechanical 75 questions. So, let us see some more questions in the next video. See you all.